Do you know there are three kinds of sins that easily entangle a believer? You may not even notice it as a sin, but I want to draw your attention to what Bible talks about these things. First sin that Paul writes is written in the book of Romans chapter 14, verse number 23. This is what Apostle Paul says. He says, whatever is not of faith is sin. Think with me. Whatever is not of faith, sometimes we live our life in fear. Sometimes we just live it in doubt. And sometimes we are so scared that we don't even do what we need to do. My friend, the Bible says, whatever is not of faith is sin. So take a pause and think. All the activities that you are involved in, is it in accordance to the faith? Is the root of everything that you are doing is based out of faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the voice of God. In other words, living a life of obedience to God's call. That's the first area that we need to check in our spiritual life. If everything that I'm doing is out of faith, anything that is not out of faith is sin, Bible says. Second thing that Bible talks to us is about partiality. When I read into the word of God in James chapter two, verse number nine, Paul says it in this way, verse number 9 says, but if you show partiality, you commit sin. Think with me. It's so easy sometimes in our homes, in our relationships, in day-to-day -day life, we show partiality. We are partial towards people whom we like or who agree with what we have to say. But Bible is saying if we show partiality, especially among poor and the rich, especially among educated and uneducated, among the, the wealthy or healthy, and the sick you know Bible is saying do not show partiality to anyone why because all human beings are created in image and likeness of God for all of them the crown of life has been put upon them and we need to look to them as God looks at them precious in the sight of Jesus Christ worth dying for and so don't show partiality in whatever you are doing and the third area that Bible talks about is subtle it is found in James chapter 4 verse number 17 the Bible says he who knows how to do good and does not do good for him that is sin think with me there are so many things that we intend to do good, but sometimes we restrain ourselves because of our selfish ambition. And maybe we restrain ourselves because we don't want to be misunderstood. Or maybe we don't want to do, the Bible is saying, if it is in your ability to do good to someone, do it with all of your heart. Because if we know how to do good and if we don't do it, that is the sin of New Testament. The Bible says in James 4, 17, he who knows how to do good and does not do good, for him that is sin. So check out, how do you live your life? Are you living in partiality? Are you living in doubt and disbelief? Or are you living a life where you know how to do good, but you don't do it? So check it out and live in accordance to the will and the word of God. May God bless you.